Hi, I'm Ryan Jake Lamborn, creator of Spring Hill Jack. If you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. So I made Spring Hill Jack for the Saban Shorts, Show Us Your Shorts uh, competition. When I uh, first saw it, I had like three weeks to get something in. So the first day I, I picked out a, one of the story synopsis I have in my ideas folder. Picked the one that would make the best short. Spring Hill Jack just had the best material for a short, having such you know suspense and action and introduction to a story. I don't have anything else that quite matches that. I wrote a script. Next couple days, I storyboarded it out. Did the clean line animations over like a, a week, and then mad rush to color it all in and, and voice it and sound effects and pacing and one of the cool things is that I animated it in 8 frames per second, which I, I believe is what He-Man was animated at. <laughs> um, but uh, w once I do the pacing, I, I up-pace it to 60 frames per second. So it's a bit more variable than 8 frames per second, but that's what the, the key frames are, are drawn for. So Spring Heel Jack is my interpretation of... The Victorian era London urban legend of Spring Heel Jack, which I believe was used as the inspiration for Batman as well. So if you were sort of picking up on on Batmanish stuff, that 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 would be why. Um, so the short animation encapsulates the setup of the story, which is that Spring Heel Jack is a mysterious trickster with his stuff, uh, scaring women attacking women he doesn't he doesn't kill any of them he's not that sort of jack and, and then also his rival the scarred vengeful rival and then what happens right after the short is that the couple uh will get unengaged the young woman doesn't want to be with the rival anymore and uh, she doesn't explain why and left to his own devices, the rival decides for himself that it is because he's been scarred by spring Heel Jack. So what follows is a dual lead character mind game between the two, the rival and spring Heel Jack, where the rival wants to, to unmask Jack and get him, you know, thrown in jail or, or hung. And Jack once he realizes that this guy is so doggedly after him, wants to turn him. The thing that is fueling Jack to be a, a prankster, trickster, attacking women is that he is a rich misogynist. And you have to understand, in Victorian London, there's some massive changes going on, especially with women. Queen Victoria has just been crowned. The middle class is rising. More women are, are working as the, you know, Industrial Revolution has kicked off. So Jack is just not into, not into that. So his role in this sort of dual mind game thing is to try and turn the rival into a misogynist like him to join his cause. And, and the pivot point for that is the reasoning of their breakup, the, the couple's breakup. Um, so yeah, uh, even if I uh, don't win Saban Shorts, don't get a development deal in an animated series of this, um, I'll still be making it one way or another. Um, it'll probably be a comic. W when I do it, though, I, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, watch Spring Hill Jack. Watch it multiple times. Enjoy the, the terrible voice acting of me and my family. Eh, uh, eh, uh, yeah. <laughs>